it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I have a Cut to You design team layout today. So today I'm doing something a little bit different, and I am actually going to use the Cut of the Month uh, cut file from June, this Collect Beautiful Moments, and it is stunning. There are so many amazing title cut files. So if you're part of the cut of the month club, um, you'll have received this in June and um, you'll have the new amazing one in your email. And so I wanted to highlight this and really make it a focal point. So I cut out the cut file and then I used um, a Cricut mat that mm, was kind of on its last leg. So I left all of the pieces on the Cricut mat and then painted the inside pieces. So instead of backing the cut file, I just painted the inside pieces of the cut file. So once I have that done and I've kind of set it off to dry, I have this super cute um, picture of my family at my goddaughter's graduation, and she looked so pretty. Um, I am pulling the colors for this layout from the school colors. The school colors are blue and gold, and so I made the florals yellow. And then I did two different color blues for the actual title. Now I am going to need to invest in probably quite a bit of blue and gold items. Uh, my son has been at the high school for three years, so he has one more left. He's a senior. And then my daughter will be right behind him and she'll be there for four years. So there's a lot of blue and gold going to be happening in my life. And you can cut out a cut file and you can make it whatever color you want. So I can make all of these cut files work um, with school layouts, which is super fun. So I do like to cut my cut files out in pattern paper and I do like to back them normally, but I really like this effect and it was so just tranquil, twink, tranquil, oh my goodness, that's not a word I can use it tonight, um, just to paint the insides of these. Like sometimes you just need a little bit of time to relax and to just paint. It's kind of like coloring, um, but just with some paints. So I go ahead and back my photo with a piece of six by eight pattern paper from a paper pad. And I decide where that's going to go. And then I glue down my cut file. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to glue all of those pieces back in. And look at that. Like how fun is that? I just absolutely love how this turned out. And I will definitely be doing this again. Because you can make it so many different ways so many different ways with so many different colors and you don't need a lot of product. So you can paint with paint, you can paint with, you could probably even paint with like oxides or watercolors or um, even just regular ink pads like, or you could actually color them. Like you could use markers or you could use, um, like colored pencils or even crayons. We we could go way back and we could start using crayons. Well, I mean, Vicki Boot makes crayons too. So, I mean, you there's so many options for medium that you can use on cut files to make them fit whatever collection you are going to use. So I believe that the majority of the stuff that I am using is from Pink Fresh Studios Best Day Collection. So I'm pretty sure that's where the background paper came from, as well as the florals. I'm not sure about the tag, um, but probably. 
So I am going to kind of bring that idea of the florals up into the two clusters that I'm making. So I have one cluster in the left upper hand corner of my photo and then I decide that there's kind of a big part of open space to the right and so that's where I go ahead and add that tag, a little um, post postage stamp, and a little piece that says, so grateful for this. So my florals had leaves on both sides and it just wasn't working. So you really can just make your die cuts work for you. So in this case, I only needed it to have one leaf, so I just trimmed the other leaves off. Now, they don't go to waste because I am actually going to stick them on the bottom of the cut file where that S is um, and just bring some of that dark green down there as well. So I don't have a ton of dark green on the bottom half, I just have it in the upper two clusters and I felt like I needed to bring that color down. And some people will say, oh, that's the visual triangle. Um, I think my brain subconsciously does that because they say that that's pleasing to the eye. But in my brain, I wasn't thinking, oh, I need to do a, a visual triangle. I just I was like, oh, I think that I need some of this color down here. So that's kind of how my brain works as far as this goes. So I'm going to start by gluing everything down. And then I think the only thing that I'm going to add is that puffy sticker that says best day and it's in yellow. I'm going to put that right on top of that yellow um, floral. So absolutely gorgeous. Love how that turns out. Oh, one more little puffy sprig. So there is my layout. I went ahead and added a couple of stripes or lines of some machine stitching. And I got a couple of close-ups for you. So while you are looking at the close-ups, I want to encourage you to head over to um, the Cut To You Facebook group and the blog, as well as check out the Cut of the Month Club because it is amazing. And then get your hands on some of these great title cut files. So remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next time. Bye.